Hi, I'm Cody, W3AMG with Bridgecom Systems, and today we're going to be talking about the GPS feature that is built into your Anytone radio. Well, GPS transponders in radio are most crucial for tracking location. In amateur radio, it's specifically useful for the automatic packet reporting system, also known as APRS. For those of you who are not familiar with APRS, it's an amateur radio-based system for real-time digital communications of information of immediate value in your local area. It was actually first used to track horses during the race. Now we won't be tracking horses here, but we will be helping you set up your radio's GPS system. So how can you set up your GPS tracking for APRS? If you are using a 578 or mobile radio, make sure your GPS antenna is plugged in. First, you'll need to turn on your GPS. To do that, you'll want to click on the menu, then select GPS and select GPS on. To make sure your GPS is functioning properly, follow the same steps as before. But this time, select GPS Info. If your GPS isn't working correctly, then your screen will display no fixed positioning. Your GPS icon will also appear gray. Now that we've come to the part you're most interested in, sending your GPS information, you'll notice the GPS icon is appearing as red. This is what you want to see. The red GPS icon means it's working. While you're on the GPS Info screen, you're going to want to press the Edit key. Once you're there, you'll press Confirm. The options Send and Save should appear. Pressing Save stores your location as a draft message, and Send will bring up your contact list. Then it's just a matter of choosing who sees your GPS location. Now that your GPS is live, you can start using APRS to send real-time digital communications. APRS gives you the freedom to monitor amateur radio activity in your local area. Today, we learned how to set up APRS with your Anytone radio. To order your Anytone radio, click the link down below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Cody, W3AMG with Bridgecom Systems, 7-3.